you said you had a, a, a big block Ranchero in here? Yes, 70 GT. 70 GT? 429 curb jet. Okay. Ram RJ code. Going to the modern port, we built 75 of these with the automatic transmission. We built 75? 75 of them in this car. The original black? They come white. Oh, it was white, white okay. White with the red stripe, was painted once. It's got the, the shaker hood on it. The man uh, awed it with a hideaway grill, bucket seat console tack. Oh, you can see where it's white right here where the- Yeah, mm -hmm. marine come off. Yep. Interesting, what's, what's over there? That's a 59 forward. 59. So Kenny's been showing us around here and what we have is a true gem. And this is a 1978 Ford Pinto wagon with only 4,000 miles on it. And it's a great color combination. It's got silver with the red interior. And I don't know much about Pintos, but only 4,000 miles. This car has its original wheels and tires. I mean, the original tires on this thing from the factory. Look, at, listen to that. You see here. 4,370 miles. I mean, it's, it's just, I've never seen one in this great a shape before in my entire life, Kenny. Where, where, where did, where did yeah. this thing come from? Well, uh, I mean, the colors on the inside of this are like perfect. Believe it or not, it come from uh, right there on the bumper. Right there's where it was so new. Pennsylvania. In Pennsylvania. Indiana. And that's something, the IUP. IUP. Now, Kenny also says he has a 67 A code fastback, uh, which was a 289 four barrel car uh, GT. We'll take a look at that now. This is, is this the original color? This blue? Yeah. <clears throat> And Kenny, how can we tell that this is a GT other than the, the gas cap from well, under, underneath the car? Is there a way to tell? Not really. Well, it came with uh, it had dual exhaust. Dual exhaust on it. Okay. Uh, all your GTs had power brakes. Power brakes. On your back back here, which you uh, they had a separate valve back here. Behind the uh, the seat. Right here. Where the brackets. See that like a valve right there? Oh the valve? Okay. Yeah, regular Mustang didn't have that. Okay. And that was a GT specific? Yeah, that was GT. And other than that, your wiring harness is different and for your fog lights and all that. Are these brackets different for a GT or no? Well it had dual exhaust dual originally exhaust? from the factory, but of okay. course it's been changed and then I changed it again. I because gotcha. of this engine. It's uh it needed a big exhaust for the motor that's in it. Okay, and then we'll up to you if you want to put it down. Yeah, we'll put it down. That it says GT in the in the stripe down here. Now, if it was an automatic car, it would have been a GTA for yes. GT automatic. And it we can be. see here this car uh, has has a four speed inside here, so we know it's not a GTA. Um, are there any uh, other things else that anything else that you've done to this car or? No, I haven't. I bought it like this. You just bought it? Okay. It, 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 it was out of North Carolina, but it's been converted over with the uh, 427 engine. It does have a four. Oh, I see, yeah, I see it has a 427 in it yeah. here. Yeah, supposed to be a Holman Moody engine, isn't it? With a Holman, like it, yeah. a Holman Moody engine? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, it looks pretty looks pretty sanitary underneath but here. Your wiring harness is specific to the GT that on the on the dash fog light switch and uh the wires where they plugged in were a straight plug separate straight plug i got you okay in 68 they had a a side by side plug hooked together and um a lot of people mistake now go to wiring in stuff to make a gt but your whole harness is different when you flip your fog lights on your dash lights and your tail lights come on they come on <laughs> yeah and if you awesome. just wire these in. And for those that aren't in the know, what, what exactly are we looking at here? What, what are these cars? Well, they are like a Mustang in, in your Mercury. It's your performance in your Mercury. Okay. Uh, they got the same running gear. So these are, these are Cougars. 
Yeah. And what what years? 69s. 69s? Yeah. They need, you know, the XR7 with the 428 Ram R engine, they built 325 of them. Okay. And that's all, all three of these? Or just, no, just these two. Just these two? Yeah. And, and uh, they had hood pins just like a Mark 1. Uh, they of course they had the different scoops for the Mercury. But uh, they still had nod line. And this car actually here it had all the options. It's loaded with options, power windows, tilt stirring. You can see that they have the, the 428 Cobra Jet. Now this actually is also a boss scoop. Well, the boss was bigger than that. The boss is bigger it than that? Taller. Yeah, a little taller, bit taller than yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Okay, they look yeah. similar, so I wasn't sure. Yeah, they, this was the first year they had a scoop like it. And then later on, you come at GTs, had a scoop like it. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, I see you got a shaker set up yes. there. Does, does yeah. that go to this car? No, it's from uh, egg parts. Parts? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And are these cars for sale? Um, Mike would sell this one. This one's for but sale. It's a really, really solid car. It came. Uh, Aqua, aqua marine originally on a modder sheet with white leather seats. And this was a 429 car, 428 car? 428 Cobra Jet. Cobra Jet car as well. Yeah. And it has a- uh, Tilt stern and- Okay. Tilt stern, white interior. Cool. Kind of have to pull the modder sheet. So what we have here is a red 1968 Mustang, but not just only, not just any Mustang, this is probably the rarest Mustang that I have ever seen or heard of, and I've heard of a lot. And luckily the owner's with us today, but we'll go over the car first, and then we'll have him tell us a little bit about this car. So this is a 68 uh, Cardinal Special Mustang, and we'll show you why here in just a second. But one of the features that's different is that this car had fog lights in the front. Now, there were several different Kona Mustangs that you could get. You could get a, a California Special, you could get a, a Ski Country Special, you could get a, a, a High Country Special in, in uh, Colorado after the California Specials didn't sell that well. So in Virginia, they had a special that was the Cardinal Special and that's exactly what this car is. And if you come down the side here, uh, we can see that this has a, a cover over the, the front vents here. Um, if you find a Mustang with one of these on it, it usually means that it was well taken care of because this vent, this cow panel on the 68 is not removable. If we take a look at the Cobra Jet car over here. Uh, we can see that this piece is removable and it just saves the car from rusting away. So that's just something to look out for. Uh, you could get this car um, in a six cylinder or a v8 this one was a six cylinder from the factory it has a a three deuce setup on it now with a 302 but come back this way and this is why this car is special so the the state bird of virginia is a is a cardinal and right here on the side we can see that there's a a diamond with a cardinal in it and that's specific to this mustang only now the owner's behind you here and we'll talk with him and Kenny, yeah. what what do you know about this car? What can you tell about this car? I mean, I, I, I've i never heard of one, and I've been finding Mustangs well, and barns my whole life. My dad bought this car in 1979, and uh, we didn't really know either in the beginning. Okay. They had this thing on the top, the bird on the top, and uh, but later on we found out about it that it was, uh, I talked to a dealer in Florida, Virginia. His name was William Weddle, and he sold cars our new then, and he came down here and told us that he remembered the cars, and uh, he said each dealer was supposed to got two cars. Only two? Only two, each dealer in Virginia. Okay. And uh, But they only got one in. Okay. And he said those, those emblems came with the car in a glove box, and they had to actually put them on the car. So from the factory, those up. those were not on the car. Nope. The dealer put those. Dealer on there. put them on the car. Had a template to put up there and bolt them on that car. That's interesting. I've never heard anyone yep. say that before. Yeah. And another thing that's cool, if you come back here, we know that this is a Virginia car because the DSO number, the DSO number, is twenty five, and that's a Richmond, Virginia DSO. 
and you can see here. Did this car have black interior from yeah, the factory? Yeah, it came with the black bench seat interior. It had a bench. Oh, this car does have a bench seat. You can see here. That's also a pretty neat feature on this car. Um, but yeah, just a, a one-year-only special Mustang that uh, you, you you probably will never see again. No, you just don't see them.